This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck as a 2006 Ford F-250 Super Duty Crew Cab Long Bed 6.0 Turbo Diesel. Four-wheel drive. It's a Lariat, which is leather. Uh, this truck has 76,277 miles. It was a theft recovery purchased directly from an insurance company in Fontana, California, which is LA. It's on a salvage title due to theft, not collision. Please watch the little three-minute animated video on the topic that's in our salvage theft ads. Basically, the, it's, it's the attorneys uh, who give it a salvage title. It has nothing to do with the truck itself. Obviously, it's not wrecked. Um, basically, the insurance companies don't want to get sued by whoever we sell this truck to. Uh, so basically, they give it to us on a salvage title. We sell it to you on a salvage title. It usually gets restored, but uh, when they sell to us on a salvage title, it means that if you kill yourself in it, and lawyers are looking for the people with the money, which is the insurance companies, uh, there won't be uh, uh, any way for them to come back to the insurance company. The salvage title kind of removes any kind of guarantees or warranties or anything. So that's what they do. That's why they do it. Um, anyway, we get them here. We do an inspection. This is what the inspection looks like. And then I got my little cheat sheets. It got a Rotella oil and filter. Uh, front and rear brake pads are new. Driver door handle was broken when it was stolen. It also got uh, front and rear shocks. They decided to steal everything that was easy to get at, which is the front and rear shocks and the stabilizer shocks on the front end are new. Uh, they're pro comp because it is a pro comp lift on this truck. And number two injector was replaced. Uh, we would scan it, and once every two or three scans, it would show a little, a little bit of a funky issue with it. Uh, probably would have never noticed it and it wasn't throwing a check engine light, but we replaced it anyway. Um, also, you'll see we have four pictures of the truck before it left California. And in those pictures, it didn't have this. This is new. That would be provided by the shipper that brought it to us. Uh, <laughs> so, unfortunately, that's the only flaw in this truck of any uh, consequences, that hood. Uh, if you cared to fix it, you could probably get somebody to fix that hood and uh, paint it paint the repair for probably three or four hundred dollars you can buy an aftermarket Ford hood for I don't know, I think it's like 150 bucks and have it painted for probably two hundred dollars bottom line is it's probably a 250 to uh, 300 to 350 maybe four hundred dollar problem if you care pro comp lift there here's your catalytic converter very clean truck my brother's gonna take this out for uh, probably 60 to 100 HD pictures there'll be a little magnifying glass you can click on which will allow you to zoom in on anything you see um, click on that and it's like putting your face right up against the truck by the way these are uh, 37 13 and a half 18 LTs tires and they're probably 80, 80 to 90 percent tread, I would say. Little thing right here in the rear bumper. Tow package. It's like a six inch lift. The six inch lift on 37s makes it quite tall. But it's not too tall. We had a, we've had a couple that were taller than this, and this is about the limit of being comfortable to get in and out in not being too ridiculous anyway I'm gonna fire this thing up I'm gonna show you underneath the uh, hood we're gonna open up the oil cap 76,295 open up the oil cap so you can look for a blow-by which I'm sure is very minimal on this is six little miles um, we're gonna be looking for Ford stamps on both sides of the fender Ford stamp there. 
There's the four stamp there. Stickers here. Stamp there. Stamp there. There's no blow by the uh, stamps are all where they're supposed to be. Here's your driver rear window. Kelly Blue Book, 76,000 mile Lariat. There's all the particulars. It says to buy from a dealer. Fair purchase price twenty four thousand four fifty eight on the middle, twenty two four thirty eight on the low end, twenty six four seventy seven on the high end. Here's your Carfax. One owner car, twenty four four fifty eight. A little bit of a hit for the Carfax. Twenty four three zero eight is their adjusted retail value. This truck was all California, dealer and independent services done on this thing. And then it was stolen. Uh, 928 and recovered the next day. Um, and that's that. All right. I'm gonna put this stuff in the glove box when I'm done here. All right, driver window. Passenger window, passenger rear window, driver rear window. Let me go to the drop passenger side here and try the window switches over there. Alright, there's your passenger rear window up and down. This is a sweet truck. Seats look great. Passenger front. Forward, back, up, down, tilt up, tilt down, tilt up, tilt down. Seats work great. Really good condition on the seats. That looks surprising there. Nothing there. I did see that they tried to break in on this side too. Yeah, they tried to break in there with that door handle. Just notice that. Huh. Let's see. Door locks. There's the door locks. There you go. Mirrors out. In. Down. Up, other side, out, in, up, down. Got adjustable pedals. Down, up, tilt wheel. That works fine. It's a little bit of a, that's just die right there. That's not even a tear. We die rubbed off. Forward, back, up. Down, tilt up, tilt down, tilt up, tilt down. That all works fine. Ugh. Climb up in this thing. Oh, we're at a different altitude. All right, it's got a moonroof. Let's make sure that guy works. It works good too. Those motors tend to get tired, and this one's in really good shape. It's moving fast. All right, here's that. Slide your rear window. Radio. Okay, let's try that. And change it with the steering column. That's fine. Here. Oh, 
yes, the radio controls work on the steering and on the uh, on the uh, unit itself. Here's the air conditioning, manual controls. Let's try these. Okay, that all works fine. Let's see what else we got going on here. Tow haul on and off. Let's see. That, that all works fine. Let's see what else we got. Let's do a systems check. in neutral put it into four low four low drive that's definitely four low and drive and in reverse and four low perfect all right now we're gonna go to four high drive and reverse and neutral and two-wheel drive and you know what let's test the uh, backup sensors parking sensors see if they work yep all right this is on salvage title so if you're gonna come to drive uh, to uh, take it home which you're welcome to do if you're gonna come in person we need to get uh, the title restored basically you can't get a uh, in plates to drive home with or insurance on a salvage title so we have to take it to the police and get what's called level 3 inspection then you can get a restored salvage title. Then we can issue you plates. Then you can get insurance. That's mandatory if you're coming here. We charge $200 to do that before you get here or before it ships out if you pay by wire. Um, so it's $200 to restore the title. There's a $250 dock fee and then there's taxes. Taxes are 2% city sales tax here in Tucson plus whatever your state tax rate is. So just add 2% to your state tax rate. Uh, then add $250 dock fee and then add $200 to restore the title if you're going to come and pick it up in person. If you're gonna pay by wire and ship, all you're obligated to pay is the agreed upon price, that's it. Uh, but I still strongly urge you to add another $200 to have it restored before it leaves, unless you're positive you can get it done with the Arizona salvage title we're gonna give you, the uh, bill of sale that you'll have in your online file, and the truck itself, because those are the only three things you'll have. This us see what's great. Big old truck though, really big truck. Love it. Um, Deposit. Deposit's $500. Once we have your deposit, we'll put your name in a banner over the truck at wheelkinetics.com and you'll know it's yours. Until then, it is for sale. Okay? Um, uh, let's see, what else? Stop it. All right. Um, this truck's going to go quickly because of how, how low miles it is and because it has a, it's such a good looking truck. So please get that deposit in. Um, warranty it's out of warranty uh, in this case by years and barely by miles in 06 I believe it was a five-year 60,000 mile well it's way past that by years and it's a little bit past that in miles uh, if the engineers who built this could have given it a longer warranty and more miles like you know a 15 year 300,000 mile warranty they would have they would have sold them for a lot more money got and sold them all probably in an hour they didn't because they didn't know what would happen to it after that many miles or years. Uh, they know more than we know. They built it. So what I'm saying is there's risk involved. Um, we don't know what's going to happen to this truck tomorrow. Today we've got a nice truck. It doesn't need anything except a dent taken out of a hood that a shipper put in it. <laughs> all right? um, but uh, that's all it needs. Uh, now, it doesn't mean that tomorrow when you get it, it won't need something else. Okay, It may need an air conditioning compressor. It could need a... You know a new radio we don't know but if it needs anything you're fixing it not us okay this is your car not ours once you own it all right so if you need a sure thing the only sure thing you can do in this world uh, with a car is buy a brand new one and then you have a sure thing for three and 36 and then you owe 40 or 50 grand uh, and you don't have a sure thing anymore okay that's the reality of it so please be ready to adopt some risk. If you can't adopt risk, don't buy from us, please, okay? Uh, this is a hell of a truck, though. I love it. Uh, thank you for your time.